Hi! So today I thought I was going to do some sketching, just having a bit of fun in one of my journals. And um, I have this, I follow this amazing woman uh, on Instagram, and I don't have internet on. And she shared a few days ago, or a few weeks ago, she's been really good at sharing. Um, the 10, hashtag one, 10 days, no wait, 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 just wait, okay. Okay, so, it is hashtag 10 days of flora and fauna, and they have uh, six, uh, five prompts, and the prompts are like you get two days per prompt. So first is water, tropical, mountain, desert and forest. And I thought it was going to be really fun just to sort of, yeah, have some inspiration from that. So the first one is water and here you can see her illustration which is very very pretty. And I'm sorry but I can't, I can't, I think her name is Rahat. I will link her down below because I really, really love her art and I have some in the studio. That inspires me a lot, so you can find her. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking about water and what I was going to draw and I've been surfing a bit and just taking some screenshots of uh, a few images and because I'm not going to sell this, it's just going to be for me, so I don't think too much about that. Um, but yeah, so I decided to go with an albatross, and yeah, I thought that could be fun. So first I'm going to do some sketches, just to get to know the character of the bird, and then maybe do like a bit more of a finished piece on this side. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to use some more of these, the Art Nouveau Skin and Hair Tones. Highly pigmented watercolour pencils contain 12 pencils. Um, and I have used them a bit and I really want to use them more because I really like the colours of them. So I'm just going to start sketching with these. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start off with uh, this one that is called Desert Camel. Caramel? Camel. Like the animal camel. Okay. I think I want to start with the head. The head of this one um, and it really reminds me of a dodo bird you know those who have died out mm. <laughs> and it sort of had that sort of light orangey tinge to it so that's why I picked this color I think Something like that, and this one has like a grey and pinky beak, so I'm going to see if I can add in some of those colours. So the grey one is Wild Mushroom. I'm just going to add in, I like to, usually when I sketch, I like to just sketch, but when there is a specific pattern or coloration of animal I really like to add in so I have that sort of as a map later on. I really like this colour, this wild mushroom, like like a soft warm grey. Going to use that a bit as a shadow I think. But I really want to do some more like with a bit of mixed media and also pull out this ink tense one. There's in Chinese ink and I thought that could be really fun and see how because it was such a long time ago I used these. I don't use a lot of 
water reactive pens or markers or anything. Um, so I thought it could be a bit fun. Like here for the eye, maybe. Um, let's move on. Let's do another one and let's start. Jesus. And let's start with the, um, the sketch with a graffiti this time. Um, maybe this one when it's like flying. Can you see? Yeah. So I have more like a shape. So I think I'm going to start, um, Going to see if I can incorporate it into this one. So we have the the wing here. I want to get that. Okay, so the wings are not straight. They actually like a curve, like so, and then go back. The head is like there, and then the beak. We have the neck and then the body. So I'm really fascinated by these birds. Uh, I'm not a big fan of birds in general. I mean I have a few bird like favorites that I like to that I like to paint or like uh, yeah the swans. I really love swans um, but I, I'm not really like yeah I mean I would like some chickens but it's about that. So Usually when I get these urges to paint something, it's not typically, it's not typically birds, but yeah. But I thought it would be perfect to, to paint this guy. Um, now when there was this challenge. And I really wanted to play along with um, Denise in liquid color. She had a challenge in July. And I really wanted to, pa to paint along with that one, but just... It didn't really happen, so I thought this could be a fun, fun thing. Okay, so this leg you can't see anymore because it's in water. So maybe we should try and make it look. Oh, I cannot paint water. Sorry. <laughs> and these are feathers. I'm just trying to figure out how this is. And oh, and the journal I am working in, Viola, she's getting comfy. Um, it's a Jane Davenport 6x9 journal with watercolor paper and I have to say that I really really like this journal <laughs> like I really like it um, or all of her journals in the series uh, I think they have really good paper considering the price especially and then that these are like targeted for mixed media scrapbook um, scrapbookers I think uh, it is amazing quality it's a lot it's very very good I think it's actually better than some uh, some like proper proper <laughs> some proper watercolor brands papers so yeah I'm really liking it uh,
Okay, so my masking tape, uh, my little brother, he has borrowed it. He's repainting his room. So, he has that one. Let's see. Do. She is using my foot as a pillow. That dog. Okay, uh, a pencil. My plan was like to do sort of like a cliff, something like that. Having the bird, what was I thinking? Maybe we could have some other cliff like that, water. Like so. Maybe we can see a bird here flying like we have made that one looks pretty looks very accurate um, and then maybe like a bird here yeah yeah okay I'm going to sketch it out and come back I think that is very very good. Um, I don't know if you can see the shimmering sea. Ooh, and now the best part. Okay, peeling it off. Ooh yes. Oh, a bit on the wrong side. That's okay. Good, doesn't it? 
Yeah, I think so anyway. Uh, and I actually even like this little mistake, like here, that the um, Purple Right Genuine that I used for a mountain has sort of bled up this side, but I kind of like it. Yeah, and it looks like a photo. I think so anyway. Okay, so that is my uh, little take on the um, uh, 10 Days of Flora and Fauna challenge. So yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really great day, um, that you will come back soon. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.